Child's Day yesterday. There are many heroes in our midst whom we see and who we do not see or know. Even heroes who may be associated with the CPP. I declare that I have worked with the National Democratic Front and I am not ashamed of it. I have worked with them, not for them, in my role as a journalist, along with then minority leader, Aquilino Pimentel. As a young senator, I have worked for the release of captives, both in the police and the military establishment. I have agreed with them on many subject matters close to our heart. And I'm certain that our brilliant lawyer from Cavite will agree that all the elements, the four aspects of CASER must be pushed. Having said that, Mr. President, I would like the anti-terror law to be reviewed. I recall, and I hope my vote was, was uh, recorded correctly when I was in the House of Representatives at the height of the pandemic because I did not vote in its favor. If you see, if we see and study what they actually believe and want, it is social justice. It is really uplifting our people from poverty for decades without, without bearing arms, of course. I stand here as someone who has worked with the so-called left of this country and who has admired many of those who share the same vision for a country who may belong to those who are considered left of center. And there is nothing wrong with that, Mr. President. It does not make anyone subversive. In fact, there's no subversion law. Now, if we are called terrorists for believing in certain beliefs which are considered left, then that's a longer debate altogether. All I'm saying is that while I appreciate the manifestation of the good senator from Cavite, I also believe that heroes like Dr. Jose Rizal, who was considered subversive by the Spanish, who was killed in Laguna, is our national hero. Having said that, Mr. President, I thank the good senator from Cavite for raising this very important issue that has propelled discussions and emotions. I do not totally disagree with you, but I think this is a very important subject of discussion and we will never completely agree with each other. That's why we value our democracy and that is the reason why we are the Philippine Senate. I will leave it at that, Mr. President. Ang gusto ko lang sabihin po, maraming bayani, hindi man natin kilala, maaring nasa autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao, maaring nasa bundok, at hindi alam kung paano bibigyan ng kapayapaan ang ating bansa, pero isa lang ang ating adikain na matanggal na natin ang matagal na nating nararanasang kahirapan at marating na natin the long evasive peace it has evaded us for decades on thank you mr president but just for the record mr president the cpp npa has been declared as a terrorist organization by the european union the united states the united kingdom australia canada and new zealand and a number of other countries mr president and uh including uh perhaps a greater uh, bulk of the members of the UN Security Council. Just for the record.